Today we're looking at 20 questions on types of agency. Here we go. Which of the following best describes a single agency relationship? A, an agent represents both the buyer and the seller in a transaction. B, an agent represents only one party in a transaction. C, an agent does not owe fiduciary duties to any party. D, an agent represents the lender in the transaction. B, an agent represents only one party in a transaction. In a single agency relationship, the agent represents only one party, either the buyer or the seller, in a transaction providing undivided loyalty to that client. Which type of agency allows an agent to represent both the buyer and the seller in a single transaction with both parties' consent? A, single agency. B, dual agency. C, designated agency. D, transactional agency. Dual agency. Dual agency occurs when an agent represents both the buyer and the seller in the same transaction, but this requires the informed consent of both parties due to the potential conflict of interest. What type of agency exists when a broker assigns two different agents in the same firm to represent the buyer and the seller separately? A. Designated agency. B. Dual agency. C. Single agency. D. Transactional agency. A. Designated Agency. In Designated Agency, the broker appoints one agent to represent the buyer and another to represent the seller, allowing both parties to receive full representation within the same brokerage. Which type of agency relationship involves an agent representing neither party in a fiduciary capacity but instead assisting with paperwork and facilitating the transaction? A. Dual Agency. B. Transactional Agency. C, single agency, D, general agency. B, transactional agency. Transactional agents do not represent either party in a fiduciary capacity. They assist both parties in completing the transaction without giving advice or advocacy. A listing agent working solely for the seller is in what type of agency relationship? A dual agency, B single agency, C designated agency, D implied agency. B. Single Agency. A listing agent working solely for the seller represents them in a single agency capacity where their primary loyalty is to the seller. When does an implied agency relationship occur? A. When there is a written agreement. B. When an agent acts in a way that leads a person to believe they are represented. C. When both parties agree orally. D. When an agent refuses representation. when an agent acts in a way that leads a person to believe they are represented. Implied agency arises when the actions of the agent suggest representation, even without a formal written or oral agreement, which can lead to unattended, unintended fiduciary responsibilities. Before we move on, will you please subscribe, like our video, and comment below. It really helps us out. Thanks. Which of the following types of agency is created through a formal written agreement? 
A. Implied agency. B. Express agency. C. Transactional agency. D. General agency. B. Express agency. Express agency is created through a formal agreement, either written or oral, that clearly defines the agent-client relationship and duties. What type of agency relationship is created when an agent is given broad authority to act on behalf of the principal in all real estate matters? A. Special agency. B. General agency. C. Dual agency. D. Designated agency. B. General Agency. In general agency, the agent has broad authority to act on behalf of the principal in various matters within a particular area, like property management. In a special agency relationship, the agent's authority is A. Unlimited and ongoing. B. Limited to specific tasks for a specific transaction. C. Based on representing both buyer and seller. D. Generalized and continuous. B. Limited to specific tasks for specific transaction. Special agency limits the agent's authority to specific tasks related to a particular transaction, such as selling a property. Which type of agency requires disclosure and consent for both parties to avoid conflicts of interest? A. Dual agency. B. General agency. C. Single agency. D. Implied Agency. A. Dual Agency. Dual Agency requires full disclosure and written consent from both parties due to the inherent conflict of interest in representing both sides of a transaction. Which type of agency does the agent only owe limited duties to the parties, primarily focused on fairness and honesty? A. Dual agency. B. Transactional agency. C. General agency. D. Implied agency. B. Transactional Agency. In transactional agency, the agent's role is to facilitate the transaction without owing fiduciary duties, focusing on fairness and honesty rather than advocacy. What kind of agency is often created unintentionally due to the agent's actions leading to potential legal issues? A. Express Agency. B. Implied Agency. C. General Agency. D. Transactional Agency. B. Implied Agency. Implied Agency can arise unintentionally when an agent's actions suggest representation potentially creating unintentioned unintended fiduciary obligations. What is the main difference between a general agent and a special agent? A, a general agent has limited authority. A special agent has broad authority. B, a general agent has ongoing authority. A special agent has authority for specific tasks. C, a general agent is for a single transaction. A special agent is for all transactions. D. A general agent represents both parties. A special agent represents one party. B. A general agent 
has ongoing authority, a special agent has authority for specific tasks. A general agent has broad ongoing authority in multiple matters, while a special agent's authority is limited to specific tasks for a single transaction. Which type of agency does not include fiduciary duties? A. Transactional agency. B. Single agency. C. Dual agency. D. General agency. A. Transactional agency. Transactional agents do not owe fiduciary duties and are instead neutral facilitators. In which agency type does the agent represent multiple clients typically assigned by a brokerage to avoid conflicts? A. Implied agency. B. Designated agency. C. Transactional agency. D. General agency. B. Designated Agency. Designated agency occurs when a brokerage assigns one agent to represent the buyer and, to an, and another to represent the seller, allowing full representation without conflicts. A broker appoints two different agents within the same firm to represent the buyer and the seller separately in a transaction. This is an example of A. Dual Agency. B. Designated Agency. C. General Agency. D. Special Agency. B. Designated Agency. Designated Agency allows two different agents from the same firm to represent the buyer and seller independently, avoiding dual agency situation. A seller signs an exclusive right to sell listing agreement with the broker. The broker acts as which type of agent for the seller? A. General Agent. B. Special Agent. C. Dual Agent. D. Transactional Agent. B. Special Agent. In a listing agreement, the broker acts as a special agent with limited authority to perform specific tasks related to the sale of the property. Which type of agency relationship allows the agent to manage multiple aspects of a principal's property, such as leasing, maintenance, and repairs? A. Special Agency. B. General Agency. C. Dual Agency. D. Designated Agency. B. General Agency. General Agency involves broad authority commonly seen in property management where the agent oversees many aspects of the principal's property. What type of agency relationship is commonly used in property management? A. Special Agency. B. Dual Agency. C. General Agency. D. Implied Agency. C. General Agency. Property managers are general agents as they handle a wide range of tasks on behalf of the property owner not limited to a single transaction. If an agent acts as a representative based on verbal promises leading the client to believe they are represented, what type of agency is this? A. Express Agency. B. Implied Agency. C. Designated Agency. D. Dual Agency. B. Implied Agency. Implied agency arises from the actions or conduct of the agent leading the client to believe representation exists even if not formally agreed upon.
Well, I hope you did well on those. It would really help us if you'll like our video, comment below, and also subscribe and hit that notification button. Also check out our channel where we have hundreds and hundreds of real estate questions that'll help you pass your real estate exam. Have a great day.